Okay, so I'm already exhausted from the pull up and dips exercises. I'm going to use a set of 10 pound dumbbells. They're coated with a yellow rubber. It's typically how you identify dumbbells that are intended to be like jog with and stuff. Um, don't laugh at me. I'll do the best I can. I promise. If I can stay consistent with this, I will be using heavier dumbbells in the future. So, let me grab my 10 pound dumbbells and we'll get started. Huh. They're actually heavier than I remember already. So, what I'm going to do is alternating curls. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going for ten. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can tell you doing ten reps with those ten pound dumbbells is not really that hard. But I can definitely feel it through my bicep. There's no question that I'm getting some benefit out of it. Like I said, my intent is to leave this exercise, wake up tomorrow, I know I might have a little bit of soreness, but I don't want to be scared away from exercising by overdoing it today on my first exercise in forever. So I'm going to stick with the 10s. Uh, I think I probably could manage with the 15s, but just specifically to uh, avoid scaring myself off with the pain that comes from delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS, um, I'm going to stick with the 10s. The 15s will wait and uh, I can get to them later. So let me grab the 10s and do another quick set of uh, 10 bicep curls. The same thing, I'm going to alternate. One. Trying to fully extend my arms. Take it nice and slow. So I can get the full benefit of each rep. Uh, a lot of times you see people really rushing build or swinging around and stuff and it really is anything you do that makes it easier is less work that the muscles you're trying to target are going to get. And so at the end of the day, if you're cheating, you're actually reducing the effectiveness of the workout. And anytime I'm working out, I want it to be as effective as possible. But it's not going to waste my time. So I'm not saying you should never cheat. I understand some strength building strategies and things around cheating with dumbbells, but for my purposes, I'd like to do it nice and steady, really good form, where I can feel all of the um, effort on the muscles that I'm trying to improve. Then grab some water, get a nice cup of water here. Kind of a cool reusable cup. Uh, Looks like something from a fast food place, but uh, got a lid and straw. It's all washable, reusable. Pretty convenient way to drink uh, during a workout. So I like it a lot. All right, last set. Like I said, don't let the form suffer even when you're tired. Pretty nice and steady, full extension. No worries about using less weight than you prefer, and you can, uh, you know, you get there. So start out nice and low, gives you more room for progress. Okay, that's the last of my dumbbell curls. I'm gonna move on to the next exercise.